yeah, I appreciate it. He said, I got white people. He dated a black girl and got married. No, he dated a black girl? He said, yo, dude, he breakfast with her yesterday. You got a black girl? First of all, edit all that. Yo, this dude get more white girls than OJ Simpson. Dude. Dude. You got a black girlfriend? Yeah, she half man. black. She half black. No, she joke black. Really? <laughs> she ain't passing. From you got a real down south yeah. black girl. No, that means yeah, she just, don't know, huh? She don't know that you. Just in case. She don't know you white friendly. <laughs> 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 All right, this portion of the show is called On the Spot. I'm about to put our comics on the spot with some questions, okay? So welcome back to the stage, Dion Cole, yeah. Steve Wilson. Gerard, Melanie Camacho, and Roy Wood Jr. You ready? All right, ready? Now, the first comic, the first question. First question, Roy Wood. What comic makes you step your game up? When you see them performing, you're like, I got to go get a notepad and write some new, new, new jokes. Chappelle, your brother. George Carlin, them three cats, like, oh, George Carlin. Okay. like them, those three cats, like, make me borderline want to quit. Like, Chappelle, <laughs> Dave Chappelle did six hours of consecutive material I was there. one I was night. There that night. Yeah, six hours. If I took every joke that I've ever done that worked for the past ten years, it's at best forty-three it minutes. <laughs> And he did six hours. At that point, I just want to quit. I'm like, I can't. I don't have anything to talk about that long. <laughs> OK. All right, Gerard, tell us about the first time you bombed. Wow, the first time Where I bombed. Where was it? Uh, in Atlanta. Uh, I just did not know. I was going to Morehouse, man. I was in college, and this is in the early 90s. And I don't know if y'all remember this way back when, but thugs used to look like thugs, and college students used to look like college students. <laughs> So when I was performing for a room full of thugs, where, where was it, the, club? the club was the Comedy Act Theater, my, the same one that was here in Los Angeles with Robert, with all, where all, you know, you all know the lineage, but uh, all the great ones started. The all, where all of the great ones started <laughs> and some of the terrible ones. It was rough. It was rough. The, the worst thing about it was at the beginning of the night, there was, a, there was the bar area. And so you'd hang out in the bar area and you have drinks and then the show would start. And at the bar area, Tony, I swear, I thought I met my wife. Gorgeous, she was smiling and everything. And when I was on stage, man, I was getting booed off so bad. I looked and I saw that beautiful girl. She said, get your ass off the stage. I was like, oh my God. You remember me? I bought you a glass of wine. She was like, <laughs> terrific. It was your horrific. Worst story, Steve uh, my worst story was in uh, Longview, Texas. We was uh, a sound like a bomb. Yeah, oh that. man. Dude, <laughs> yo, this is crazy because I don't even think these people know they was free. It was like, that, for real, it was all Long like years. the slave mentality. I was like, what's going on? But never mind. Anyway, but. Juneteenth. Y'all free if you're watching. But listen, uh, uh, first of all, it wasn't my fault. We showed up two hours late, right? It was a two man show. It was me and Iron Ass J, right? So we get to the spot and they announced <laughs> the 2,000 people, Iron Ass J in the house, are y'all ready? They was like, yeah. They was like, but first, they was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I went on stage, man, and them people were so mean, man. I just wanted a, 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 a day job. I was tore apart, man. It was... Okay, what's the worst gig, Melanie? Your worst gig? The gigs that don't have my money at the end. Those are the worst gigs. I think I yes. played there, too. Okay, hey, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Man, we're going to pay you on Sunday. Yeah. Worst gig. Oh, uh, where, where I bombed at? Like... <laughs> I mean, my worst gig I had was I did a show with Ja Rule, and they really wanted to see him real bad. And I went out there, and they was booing, and they was throwing full concession stand drinks at me. You know, the, the ones with the lid, they, the lid would just pop off. They was just exploding on impact, just, just everywhere. And then I had to wait until the show was over with, so I was all sticky. Like, <laughs> it was tremendously horrible. <laughs> that's bad, because at the theater, them drinks are expensive. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. expensive You know you drink. want when they don't mind wasting $8 to throw a drink. <laughs> OK, you got to be some I know this drink costs $8, but I really need to throw something at it right there. Right, right, right. Let's yes. do it. Any do questions it. out there? Anybody have a question? You have a you know. What's the worst gig anybody's ever had? Oh. Worst gig. Everybody has a worst oh, gig. Oh, I've got one. 
Roy, what's your worst game? I got one. I did a show in a city I won't name because I'm sure they're watching. Um, <laughs> some dope boys, and I'm sure like some of y'all didn't work the black rooms before. Dope boys yes. throw comedy shows all the time, but they okay. pre-sell the tickets to use the money to buy dope. <laughs> I'm serious, and they resell the dope before the show to pay you with the the sold dope money. <laughs> we got to the show, they hadn't sold the dope yet. Uh-oh. So they tried to pay us in dope, real talk. All right. I'm not, that's real talk. Okay. That's a good gig. Okay. What city was that? What city was that? Okay, and how can I book that gig? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Wait, you have a question, ma'am, in the back? Nellie, as a female comedian, do you feel that the female comedians are treated different as far as the male comedians, as far as pay and uh, getting booked? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's a man's world, and that's just the bottom line, but we're going to make a difference. What you talk about? I'm trying to get that money that the men get. We're going to make some changes. Hey, we got to go, but that's our time here at the Funny Spot. Nice. Give it up for all the comments that's on the show. Dion Cole, Steve Wilson, Gerard, Melanie Camacho, Roy Wood Jr. See you next time at the Funny Spot. I'm Tony Rock. Y'all be cool. Peace. <laughs>